Hey everybody, this is Fine Ticks Pressing, and today what I've got for you are two unboxings. The first one is a hot new book from an indie publisher that I think you're going to want to pick up. And right behind it, I got I picked up a, a slab. It's a modern slab, but it's an homage to a grail. So stay tuned, let's check them out. Alright, so let's open up the first package that I've got here. This is a book that... Uh, when I uh, came across this book on a previews, I said, oh my God, I've got to get this cover. Uh, this particular book is from Source Point Press, and the indie publishers are tearing it up right now, in my opinion. This cover I thought was fantastic when I saw it. Uh, it is the cover C. This particular book... This cover um, was, I guess, a retailer incentive. Uh, only There was only one given out per store. And when I went to pick up this book from my LCS, uh, I literally was there one hour after the opening on Wednesday that this book was released. And all copies, all copies, cop, uh, cover A, cover B, and there was one copy of cover C, all were gone, all were sold out. Uh, I actually went to a second uh, store in town and I grabbed, I think I grabbed three cover A's and two cover B's uh, at that store because I just was so high on this book. It, uh, it just uh, brought back some memories from another iconic uh, character or a group of characters. So let's see what we've got here. All right, let's get this out. Again, like I said, this is from Source Point Press. It's a new book. This is a number one. Whoa, got a little bit of a tear on the back here. Tore right through the right through the book, the the bag. Damn. So let's see what this one is. This is one that I was really high on. This is the incentive variant. Uh, only one was issued per store. And it is Little Red Ronin number one. And this particular cover, I believe, is done by Kit Wallace. And I've seen a couple different, um, seen a couple different uh, websites that list um, a different cover artist. But I believe this one's correct. I'm just looking here at this damage to the bag. The book itself looks great. I'll rebag it and board it. Uh, they've got it inside looks like a silver but this particular cover when i saw it i saw i thought oh my god it just brought back uh memories of when i first started collecting in in the early 80s and the ninja turtles books were released so uh, this book's fantastic read um obviously it's a play on little red riding hood but a uh, very adult uh, very adult language and some themes in this uh, first issue, but I'm really stoked to own this book. I am going to get this one sent off to CGC, and I'm going to put it right next to my uh, my graded uh, copy. The earliest copy I have a first print of Ninja Turtles Four. It's when I it's like when I first started the my my best friend who got me hooked on comics. Uh, I think I was about 12 years old, uh, said, man, you got to get the Ninja Turtles. You got to get these Ninja Turtles. And at the time, um, I think the first three issues had been released. They were releasing them really slowly. You know, for, even back then, a first print copy of Ninja Turtles 1 was very difficult to, to, to get. And it was definitely outside of my, uh, it was definitely outside of my, uh, my price range as a kid. Um. But I'm excited to have this copy. I think this looks great. This, I believe, is by this cover art is by Kit Wallace. He's uh, done some covers on Good Boy. I think he's done a cover or two of maybe Twig. But you can see the the kit. I'm, I'm going to zoom in here where you can see. Hopefully, you can see uh, better just the lighting. But um, I believe that's. The signature so i think this cover art is by kit wallace so i dig it i really dig it i think this is a great first issue um i'd be curious to know in the comments below if you were able to pick up this book at your lcs or if it was sold out 
like it was in mine. I'm looking forward to issue two and I think three. I think this is just going to be three issues. So hopefully this book picks up a little bit of a, a following and they decide to continue with the run. I, I think it looks great. I think that the concept is fantastic. It's kind of like a play, I believe, on sort of the thing that we've got with the Ninja Trolls. I know we've had a lot of these anthropomorphic animals um, that, you know, they had their, you know, their little warrior runs, but, but this one looks pretty good. Uh, this character is going after, uh, or believes that there's a, a wolf that's going around killing everyone, sort of like a serial killer. And little red is going to, uh, is going to try to, um, get him and sort of, uh, redeem what her grandmother has been saying. So I'm, I'm not sure if, you know, it's got a pretty good little story. I think you'll like it. Uh, I thought the uh, this issue was a great read. I, like I said, I have cover A and B now and C. And this one is the one that I am going to get sent off to CGC because I just think it looks fantastic. All right. So that's the uh, first book. And uh, let's go into my next book. Let's, Like I said in the intro, this next book is a... This is a book that is a modern book. It's really only like a $10 book, but I was able to pick this up for 45 bucks. It's, it's gonna be a 9.8. And because I am a big Tales of Suspense guy, started as, uh, when I was, like I said, when I was 12, I started picking up go through these these bins at my local comic shop as a kid and they were pretty inexpensive between three dollars and five bucks at a piece and I uh, at the time I owned quite a few of the Tales of Suspense I still have um, obviously I, I have uh, Captain America 100 which I picked up in that bin but I had the first Hawkeye I've sold a lot of them off but um, I believe I have still have Tales of Suspense 54 and 77, which I think is the first Peggy Carter. So, um, well, I think I've got a video of me cleaning up 54. So check that out if you haven't already. But let's see what we got here. This thing is pretty well wrapped. Bubble wrap. Box got a little bit thrashed in transit, but save the bubble wrap. And let's go on to the next. Let's go to the next level. Tons, tons of bubble wrap. going to be a new one to join my slab collection. Looks like they just used a, it's kind of a clever idea for packing it, putting it inside a priority envelope. You know, the uh, material of these priority envelopes is pretty thick. Yeah, this is, there we go. Got it. Let's see if we got it. And here it is. It's Iron Man 16. And it's that homage cover to Tales of Suspense 39. And uh, I love it. I love it. I'm really excited to have this on the wall. And uh, I think the cover looks great. Oh, I got a little bit of stuff here on there. Something inside. This uh, little plastic cover. It's can't quite. It's on the inside of the plastic. But it's just something stuck to the cover. But that's it. So those are my two books that I picked up. I really want to recommend to you to go out and get um, 
Source Point Press's book, Little Red Ronin. Uh, it's a great story so far. Artwork's outstanding. And uh, I think there's tremendous potential in marketing this book uh, like they did in the early 90s with the Ninja Turtles. So we'll see if somebody picks up on this or not. But, um, you know, there's... I don't know if you really think about it. There really hasn't been anything new, and we just have a lot of recycled toys: Ninja Turtles, Transformers, GI Joe, He Man's back. Um, it's always nice to see something new, and I think this book, this character of Little Red Ronin, has that potential. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a like and a subscribe. Um, the YouTube algorithm has not been kind to me, so please, if you can give me a thumbs up uh, so that other people can see this video in their feed. And uh, thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos. So good luck out there. I'm going to wish happy hunting to you, and thanks for tuning in.